All right, we are playing some Recon Support, running Guardian, Font of Life, Bone Plating, Unflinching, Zombie Ward, Ultimate Hunter, 1 CDR, 1 Magic Resist, 1 Armor. This is my first game uh, after the newest Recon nerfs. This champion was in a really broken state for a really long time. Uh, had like the highest win rate out of all supports in the game with a really high pick rate. Um, it was a much deserved nerf. However, I think they might have addressed the nerf the wrong way. Uh, you guys can check out my support tier list to hear like my full in-depth, uh, you know, commentary behind it. But for the most part, they nerfed how much damage he can take. Uh, they reduced his health and armor, I believe. And basically, Riot's idea here, and I can kind of commentate through this because the lane phase is going to be a little boring right now while we are getting shoved in. Uh, but they just wanted him to take more damage so that he is more punishable when you go in for an engage and you mess it up. However, his engage is still just as good, just as strong. Um, and so if you're a good Recon player and you're not botching your engages, you should have no issues. So that's going to be interesting to see moving forward. Obviously, we'll see in this game uh, if I go in and kind of miss my W or miss my charm or whatever it may be. Uh, I'll probably take a lot of damage, and it might not live as often as I'm used to living. But that is the idea behind it. I still think he's going to be good. I can see him being, like, 51, 52% win rate still. I don't think he'll be, like, 53 or where there's a point where he was, like, 54. I don't think he'll be that high. But I still think he'll be in a really good spot. Again, this is all uh, new to me, though, as well. First time testing it. We'll have to go on and see. But I, I think he'll be fine. Sweet. Also, when it comes to playing Xyrocon, obviously you always want to look to play aggressive. Haven't really had many opportunities to this game uh, because Jan is a pretty good counter to engage supports. The, the slow, the knock up, if she just throws her tornado at me when I W in, my engage is kind of ruined. But also, Janna received some buffs this patch. Um, and I'm honestly a little worried about Janna becoming too overpowered because the I don't even remember the buffs off the top of my head. Um, again, something I something I covered um, in the support tier list, but I am a little worried about how strong she's going to potentially be. And you can already see there the tornado, kind of problematic for for my champion. Uh, if they survive long enough, I like the way this is looking. I also do have first move. Very nice. I'm not going to go towards him because he just has his tornado. I'm honestly surprised. I did not realize that um, Janna had rotated before me. I thought for sure we had first move. Oh, he's going to miss this. He greeted for an extra auto. Why didn't you wait? Wait for what? No, we need tempo there for sure. It's a bit troll to stay on the map there. You're only given a little spark of madness. You mustn't we didn't lose the play either. It's actually fine, but he's just eight seconds behind me, which gives me time to roam mid, but it's a victor mid. I'm not really going to be able to accomplish a whole lot here. They're gonna try and test me. Maybe if he uses W. That looked like he uses W. Oh. Well, I guess... Yeah, I didn't... He did use his W, but I didn't think about that aspect of it, did I? Nice! 2v1, got a trade kill. We'll take that, happily. Now, this does look free, but that doesn't mean that it is free. Okay, never mind. Now it's looking free. Nice, and the wave's in a great spot, too. Good job. This guy is missing, though. You know what? If this wave is fine, maybe I can rotate. I like this idea. I think I am a little late to it, though. If I'm here at the same time as Zach, maybe we get that kill. He gets it anyways, though. Nice. Good stuff. He's crazy. And that's why I love it. There's no way he keeps going there, right? 
I'm happy they were uh, able to make it work anyways. I think if I'm there, maybe we kill the Janna, but also just being there to get the assist would have been nice. Now it kind of looks like a waste of time because I roamed and got nothing accomplished. Not the end of the world though, because Zaya farmed up a big wave and she gets some solo XP, which is never a bad thing. She also probably isn't on too much gold since uh, Zach got the kill. So maybe it's okay that she's still here. That's looking real close. Alright. Uh, Silas ganks are not something I'm too concerned about, but I could definitely see him coming down on this big wave here. And they're playing a little bit too far up for my liking. Yep. I feel like that was pretty obvious. Maybe I could have done a better job pinging it, though. I knew that was gonna miss, damn it. I think he could die here though. Does he have any reason to go backwards? No, he does not. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I, I, I think I could have done a better job there because I, I do have this bad habit where I'm explaining my thought process and I'm explaining what's going on in the game and like where I think people are on the map. And I forget that just because I'm saying it out loud doesn't mean my teammates can hear me, right? So I, I should have made that assumption that uh, just because I have a good feeling that Silas is here, that Zaya also knows that. I need to communicate that. So we don't run into that situation where the fight goes less than ideal. Uh, because we're not on the same page. I do just want to recall here, though, because I'm, uh, kind of out of mana. Let's see if he messes this up twice in a row. Good job, man. I'm proud of you. I swear we've been playing with or against Silas all stream. Maybe I just have bad memory, but this is like the only Silas I can remember. Can we just stay here? Because we played what? We we started the day off with Bard. I don't remember seeing a Silas that game. Uh game two. Oh yeah, I can't even remember what champions I played today, so I guess my memory is pretty bad. Um, he should have passive, right? Is he not? Uh, I don't know how, how I feel about this. I played that as well as I possibly could have. Just a bad fight. Oh, kill him. Does he have another dash? He will soon. If it don't get out of control, it ain't hard. Okay, save the flash. Things went okay. Uh, Zaya gets a solo kill too, so that's very nice. Yeah, it was a pretty cool looking combo, it's just unfortunate that it came when it did. Because we weren't able to actually win the fight. Uh, we're playing a lot around topside when I think bot lane is just our win con. I wish we'd be playing more around around us down here, but I've been going through the action because it's just been elsewhere. Okay. 
Now I have to roam again though because Zaya's gonna be off the map. I have nothing else to do. Does he have ulti? If he does, he wins that. Yeah, I think he just dies. Nice. Zach is huge. I just wish he would have built a little bit more damage this game. Janna could definitely be here, and I think she has sums up now. She should have flash. Okay. I guess she doesn't. If you can only play one champion that's support for the rest of your life, who are you picking? I kind of want to say Thresh, because if I'm only picking one champion the rest of my life, I want it to be a high skill cap champion. And I also kind of like the idea of kind of starting from scratch with a champion that I'm not super comfortable with already. Like if I say Rakan, for example, who I do think has somewhat of a high skill ceiling, I'm already pretty comfortable with Rakan. I, I, I think I play this champion at a very high level already, so I, I wouldn't really be challenging myself too much by playing him more. Whereas if I play Thresh, I, again, I'm starting from scratch, um, and I think that could be a fun challenge. And right as I was always going bot, I was hovering him for a second here. Although even if I was there, I'm not sure we necessarily would have killed him. Your team has destroyed a turret. Um, this mid lane tower might be gone. Actually, it's still pretty healthy. They haven't dropped rift yet. I don't know why, I keep forgetting that this champion can do that. They're walking up as if Zed is coming down. Is he? He was like 1 HP, wasn't he? After this, how about we get some human food? A nice dinner? Chocolate! That's not what- We're eating chocolate! That's not gonna work. Why are we going in those? The only thing. I am out of mana here. I am out of mana here. I am out of mana here. Uh, I don't like the way this guy is playing. to recall I very clearly want to recall and she's running in she's running in I should have let him die Do you love me because I'm beautiful or because I'm sexy Favorite Rakan skin I don't know they're all they're all pretty good. Um, I would say my favorite's probably IG or Samsung Galaxy. Alright, Dragon in two minutes. It's only our second one, but I, I still think we're stronger. Even though some fights have not been going our way recently. And so if we can group for the dragon for some to fight, I like that. Uh, I kind of ulted before she flashed and then by the time I got there, she's just too far away. He has Gale Force. Q 
Okay, good stuff. Shut down here if we can get it. I believe we have first move on them too. Want to jump out for his little pull grab together thing? Very nice. Again, I feel like I say this every single time I play Rakan, but the way you play him is not just engage. You don't just go one direction. You play him like an ebb and flow, go in and out of fight. So that was a good job of I went in, landed the W, which set up the Zach to come in, jumped out so I didn't get you know pulled together uh, by the sets. And then once his W went off, found a way back into the fight. They have three melees who have all the kills for their team for the most part, and that is what Rakan excels into, so I feel like we're in a really good position. All these assassins that need to dive in, I just jump to whoever they're diving on charm them or ults run through them to charm them and then w so they they just die instantly nice knock up which should lead into the w but the flash gale force away not bad Flash for Flash is always going to be worth, I think, when it's a jungler for an EDC. Just getting the Flash off the higher prior target. Oops. You guys didn't see that? This is, uh, maybe a little too over-eager. So we don't actually have everybody here. Yeah, maybe a bad idea. This Irelia I thought was inting, but she gets some random solo kills. I guess if she matches up against the Zed, that's better for her though, right? Compared to the set. I need to be a little careful here, because I'm pretty sure my Zaya needs to get off the map. No dragon for three minutes, and I want to threaten Baron, so... I like the idea of getting vision here. Oh. You know what? That's actually the first time I've kind of noticed the nerf, so kind of not great engage. And I take a lot of damage on the way out. Oh, my FPS is dropping. Okay, not bad. I landed the W on the Jinx and I was ready for an all-in there, but I don't think my team was in a position to follow up, so just jumped back out. Ah, uh, he literally flashed away. It's a good thing he lives. So, I, I keep saying this, but Rakan is really good into assassins because they have to be on top of your carry. So, you can ult, jump to your carry, and then W like at their feet, and you'll hit the assassin. But he flashed away from the Zed, so when I W at his feet, he takes Zed with him. And so, I'm not actually there to land the W. I also should have bought a control war just now. Kind of troll of me. Not as troll as this Irelia right now, though. 
They're walking towards the Baron, but I think it's just that it just takes over some vision. They still have two people off the map. Okay, you see, he was supposed to be recalling. <laughs> I was going to jump over to just be annoying and throw a Q to cancel his recall. I didn't expect that he had already canceled his recall and he was going to jump at or uh, run at me. A bit awkward there. I want those control wards, so that's kind of why I'm recalling, even though I, I can't buy anything, but I also wanted my, my health back. Um, here... I don't really think this team is smart enough to sneak Baron, but I, I just want to make the right play anyways. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break away from the team for just a second. I'm going to get some very shallow vision on Baron, and what I mean by that is literally just this one ward. Uh, that way, if we were to run to Dragon and they were to run to Baron, we would know that they're doing it. And then we run here and we do this. Uh, Zaya needs to stay on the map, though. I trust Okay, this should be free. What are those things humans wear on their feet? Shoes. I need shoes. Red ones. See, this is what I was talking about. Okay, I feel like that just proved that I'm a genius. And they are doing it quick. So the plan worked out beautifully, except our team just needs to come to Baron, not finish the dragon. That's the only thing that went wrong there. So yes, a very smart play, but not a very smart team. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I also didn't expect them to do Baron that quick, but you even saw how I ran straight to Baron, right? If they're going to do Baron while behind, they're taking damage and they're giving us like an angle to go in while they're trapping themselves in the pit, it's just a free game for us. But we're not rotating for some reason. Fun. And so we give Baron for free. Need some fun. Now. That's really unfortunate. Sucks when I set up a uh, like vision like that to help our team win, and I'm actually correct in, in the big brain play, but my team is not paying attention. Oh, that is so awkward. No way my W doesn't go over the wall there. Uh, why did I get five man? Because they have Baron in their grouping. I think you intimidate human female. This is not going well. There's two in base though for them. So if they give us any angles here, we should go. Can we just stay here? We must keep moving. Oh, unfortunate. Okay. Well, no point in dwelling. On the pass. We have eyes on Jinx, so I don't mind fighting this at all if we can get there in time as a, as a team. That's that Janna disrupt, though, that I was talking about. That sucks. Burn the flash here, unfortunately. They will see me. They will see my dance. This game just got uh, a lot closer than it should have been. Uh, do we have the damage to kill this guy? Uh, I think he's out. You know I love. 
I have too many people that I need to hover because everybody on my team has just been dying randomly. I think we can force on one side or the other. Preferably top since we have Zach here. Oh. I'm a dirty little inter. My bad. I mean, we, we still get it, but that should have been a lot cleaner. Missing my W on the Janna is kind of inexcusable there. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'll sweep through, I'll drop my wards, and I have just enough time before this dragon comes up that I can actually recall and get back to it with some fresh wards. There's no point in my team being here, though. This is actually really a troll, because the dragon's not up yet. I really has the right idea of pushing before. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, I already built the fairy charm. I guess I do go this direction then. Uh, I really had the right idea though of, uh, of pushing first. Because my whole team has, has now wasted 45 seconds here at the dragon accomplishing absolutely nothing. No way that doesn't land. Why are we still? Ah, uh, why are we still hitting the dragon? Our our jungler is dead, and we can't finish the dragon. We should be running. Ah, uh, it's also a bit ironic that Irelia is saying just play with the team when she solo died so many times now. Did he just run right back? Is he typing or what? He's just running right by the set and inting. Okay, this game's a bit of a tilter, guys. A bit of a tilter. Not a bad combo. I didn't expect the cleanse. Okay. I think we just have to do this. It was an okay played fight. I, I actually definitely noticed these nerfs. And I think um, it's definitely going to impact people who aren't as experienced on Rakan. Because if you watch these engages, man, you are dying quickly. It was an okay played fight by me. Um, good patience on the engage. Waited for Zach to go in. Got the good follow up. Uh, the only mistake I would say was going in on the jeans, just not having a full understanding that she has cleanse there. So, bad time to go in. The fight's here, my name. It's the same fight. Okay.
Okay, we should just be grouping and pushing now, or at least a 1-4. I don't think we can 1-3-1 one, one for that team. Because Victor probably loses to Zed. Actually, does he? Maybe not. But this is not good. We're, we're wasting a lot of time right now. We have Baron and Zaya just got on the map and then pushed a wave and then recalled. We have Victor taking Krugs for some reason. It's a I really have spot. Everybody's missing on the map. Good times. This is not good. Where'd they go? That's just not how you use Baron, guys. It's not how you use Baron. How is that legal, though? It's legal because you're not waiting for everybody else to be back on the map. So we're not pushing anywhere, and you're just going... You're pushing solo. Wow. Uh, I think the Janna just completely shit on me there. Oh, unfortunate. I played pretty well this game, I would say. The nerfs are definitely noticeable. Um, you know, you go 3-3-17. Three, three, uh, you have three of your team's 29 deaths. It's not a whole lot else you could do about it. I think some really poor macro this game. I probably could have done a better job of shot calling for my team and making sure they were on the same page as me. But at the end of the day, can't be too upset about this one.